Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today we're gonna to do a little 3D printing. We're gonna actually print a picture in 3D. We're gonna be making a lithophane. So a lithophane, if I hold this up right here, it doesn't look like much here, but if I hold it up to the light, you're gonna be able to see the image through it as the light passes through it. And it's my twin boys playing with the wasp nest that they were so curious with last year. Now I'm gonna show you the process of printing, uh, printing these lithophanes. It's a very easy process a great thing at home or maybe in school for you to try. So let's get started on this process here today. I'm going to be using the Robo C2 printer here, which is a great compact printer, easy to move around, Wi-Fi capabilities, and I'm going to show you how that all works to print to the C2 here. Let's get started on lithophane printing. So if you're looking for more information about the Robo C2 that I'm using here today, I'll put the link down below so you can check out uh, some of the finer details of it. Now, the website that I was using to create the lithophane, and I'll also put that in the description down below, I'll put the link to it, is right here. So once you uh, go to the website, you're gonna pick a certain, uh, certain type of curve or flat or different things that you want to create your lithophane. Now, when I showed you, you wanna print it in a vertical way that it's gonna be not laying flat on the ground but printing upwards. So you can see how this one is flat. I'm gonna do the outer curve here today for my, uh, for my example and I'm going to load up my picture right away. So to load up the picture, I'm going to go up to images here and I'm just going to choose a file and this is the one I want to be using here. So I'm going to pick open and then it's going to uh, go through and it's going to have everything set up for me. You can see I'm going to zoom out a little bit here and you can see uh, this is the image that I printed for you. A couple of the settings that you can play around with, if I drop down, uh, you can change some of the uh, settings for size. Uh, the default was 100. I did up this a little bit uh, just because I knew uh, mine is about a five inch uh, across and then this was about 120 millimeters here. So these numbers are in millimeters. Also in your image settings, uh, make sure you're on positive image here. So a lot of times it will default to the negative, just drag it over to the positive image. Now, if you think you have everything the way you have it want to set up, and you can go to images, oops, sorry, model, and then you can hit download on this. So if you sometimes make the changes, you can refresh if you adjusted any of them, but then just go ahead and hit download and you're gonna download uh, an STL file. And with that STL file, you have a couple different options. I'm gonna show you in this slicer uh, program that came with the C2 here. I'm just gonna open it up here. So that STL file can be brought into here. I'll just open it up and you can see how it's gonna fit on the build here uh, quite nicely. Now, a couple different things. Uh, I'm just gonna move over to the recommended to keep this, either, uh, keep this. I printed in hollow. You, if you wanted something more uh, that may be a little bit stronger, you could print it in solid, and I've gotten some good results with the solid. On this one, I just did a hollow one. It's very uh, thin anyway, and it came out quite nice on it. Uh, the other thing to watch for is maybe the build plate adhesion. Uh, the first time I went to print, I didn't have anything there, and it was hard to uh, stick to it. So maybe just make sure you have, this will add like that. If I hover over, you can see how it'll have that brim or a raft uh, just to have that little bit more adhesion so it makes sure it sticks to the bed on it. So then when you're done, you can save uh, save this and it'll be ready to go for you. I also wanna show you on this one just how to use it from the, uh, or from the, uh, just from the app too. So I'm gonna load up my app here and then just send to the printer and let it print here. So you can see I've created a folder inside my Google Drive called 3D Printing. Now, the reason I did this is I drug, I took that STL file and put it into there because with my app, and I'll show you, if I look under storage, I can connect my Google Drive or a Dropbox if I want it, but I have Google Drive. And then what I would do is go to that folder select the file, the STL file, and it would download it to uh, the printer. So I would connect to the printer, I just select it. I'm just gonna hit cancel here because I already have it downloaded. And I'm gonna go back to the dashboard uh, here. And when I select the printer, 
and go to the bottom right hand corner under library, you can see I have all these different files that I can print and I can print right from my phone. So if I go down to the SDL file that I, with the twins, I could go through and put the settings, it, kind of the same ones that I would have put in my slicer program that I showed you before. You just go through and fill it out. Uh, so if I was picking none and I'll keep everything out the same. And then at the very bottom, I would just go ahead and hit send to printer. And let's do that right now and let's see how it prints out. 